You like the new rings? Welcome back to the Anchor Trust Hobbies, everybody. My name is Carter, and we're back with another week of budget building on the Traxxas TRX4M 18th scale rock crawler. If this is your first time tuning in, we are doing a budget build on this crawler behind me, and it is going to be fully customized and upgraded by the time I am done with it. If you have not watched week one of the budget build, I would shoot back and watch that real quick. We started off strong with a new set of beadlock wheels all the way around the vehicle. We added these chrome method beadlocks as well as the chrome diff covers offered by Traxxas. We also spent a little bit extra money on a nice foam display stand to put the truck on the shelf when it's not being used. It is a sweet addition and keeps those tires from getting flat spots in them. Now last week our budget was $50. We are starting that budget back up again this week. Last week we rolled over $11.04. Woohoo! We've got a total of $61.04 in our bank account to spend on this platform. We've come in under that budget yet again. We've got new parts to go on and it'll really help out performance with this chassis. I added mainly style parts last week to change out how it looked out of the box and really customize it. This week I'm going to be focusing on the performance of the chassis. This week we picked up some more performance parts. I grabbed Traxxas part number 9776R, which is their low range gear set for this transmission. This is a full transmission set that you can get a couple of different ways. They offer this in a completed transmission with motor attached, so you can change it in just a few screws, but it is around $40 for that setup. In the spirit of the budget build, I went with the budget option. For just $6, I was able to get the full gear set swap, so we will be taking apart that transmission today and installing these gears into them. Of course, to keep ourselves planted on the rocks, we've got to add some sort of brass. Traxxas offers brass inner rings for their beadlock wheels, so I'm going to be opening up those methods one more time and inputting the brass rings for some weight. There's a serious addition in the weight category and will really help keep us planted on those rocks while we're trying to get over them. Now out of the box, this crawler is a great option to take out for micro crawling. It really captures everything that the large scale TRX4 does in a smaller size. So I'm excited to add these performance parts and I'm excited for that low range gear set. It has a little bit of trouble getting up over those taller obstacles and you really need to input quite a bit of throttle before you get the response you should have out of your crawl. Now those brass rings are so far the most expensive part we have put on this car coming in at $21 for just two rings. So if you're doing a full set like we are, we have spent $42 at the shop putting these brass rings onto the TRX4M. Now, as I mentioned, this is a seven week build series. Six of those weeks are going to be recorded on our Pro Modelers card at the Anchorage House of Hobbies. Now, if you're not familiar with the Pro Modelers Club, it is a six day punch card that we offer at the Anchorage House of Hobbies. After you fill the card, you get 10% of the total spent on that card back in in-store credit. And you best believe we're using it on this build. I've added the car, the parts from week one, and week two will be added today. Once the card is full, we will add together the total and get 10% of that total back in in-store credit, which means week number seven will have the $50 budget plus the added pro modeler points that we've saved from the previous six weeks of purchases. So I am excited for week number seven, but before that, we've got a couple more weeks to get there. I've got some parts to put on this car now, so I'm gonna get to installing and we will be back in a minute. So because I'm curious about this low range gear set, I'm gonna mark on the transmitter where it takes to get up over this small obstacle. And from there, we're gonna see the improvement from adding these low range gears. This is around a three centimeter tall obstacle and it has quite a bit of throttle input before that car actually starts to get up over that obstacle. And once it does, it kind of launches itself over it. So for rock crawling and doing that slow scale and precise crawling, you really wanna go with these low range gear sets. If you're just driving it around outside and over larger obstacles, the stock gear set will do just fine. But for what I'm looking to have out of this crawler, this low gear set is exciting. Let's get to installing those parts. Ready? Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, the power of video editing. Let's get to cracking these parts on here. Take that body off. Let's see how to take this transmission apart. Everything on this car so far has been 1.5 millimeters. So I'm really hoping that uh, it stays true to that. Brands, I'm sorry. If there is any way you guys can standardize what screw size you use on these micros, uh, please do. It's beautiful. 
cannot tell you how many times I have to dig through a toolbox to find the right part. is holding this thing on the sticker the sticker was holding okay There are many correct ways to do this. This is not one of them. Pinning gear officially off. How many people will that annoy that I just went from this one to this one rather than this one to this one? Let me know. I've got the brass rings in there now and I've got the low speed transmission. Let's throw it back together and we are gonna see how this thing drives. I'm really excited. So if you remember right, the Sharpie mark was to indicate where it would be in the throttle range before it went up over this obstacle, and let's see if that's any better. That's the end of the build, that's all I needed. Uh, well that's installed for the low range transmission and I am uh, thrilled with that. Overall, it is a lot smoother at low end throttle, which is exactly what I'm looking for in a crawler. And it is a serious improvement over the gear set that came with this car. Overall, I'm really happy with how this truck's driving. That is exactly what I want to see out of a crawler. So I am very excited to see where this goes from now. I feel like we have a very solid platform to build off of. Adding that weight down load, the brass wheel weights is seriously going to improve the overall performance of this truck. As well, you can see the improvement from the low range gear set installed there. It is a great improvement for very inexpensive. Again, this week's budget was $61 roughly. And we came in well under that at $48 and that got us the brass wheel weights front and rear as well as the low range gear set for the transmission. Flowing over into next week we have just over $13 saved into our bank account for week three's budget. Well that takes care of week number two for the Traxxas TRX 4M 18 scale budget build. We've got some sweet upgrades on this car right now and I'm excited to get week three underway. So stay tuned for that. If you are not already, I would suggest subscribing so you don't miss another video from the Anchor Chefs of Hobbies. If you want more content from myself or the Anchor Chefs of Hobbies, go over and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Anchor Chefs of Hobbies. Thanks for watching. You live there now. <laughs>